everyone! Tis I, Prestissima, and today we're gonna learn our third song. But today's song is actually two songs for the price of one. We're gonna learn Merrily We Roll Along and Mary Had a Little Lamb. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about posture at the piano. So let's talk about sitting at the piano. How do we sit at the piano when we're gonna play? Well, we want our whole bodies, our arms and our legs and our shoulders and our wrists and our hands to be free of tension, which is why we do the ghost hands, remember? And tension, which is not a good thing, is gonna make it uncomfortable for us to play and maybe could give us even pain later on. So we wanna think about our good posture, sitting upright, not slouching, we don't like that. Can't play piano very well like that, can you? So you're gonna sit up with good posture, but think about remaining loose and relaxed and tension free. So you're gonna sit at the center of the piano, right in the middle about where the keys are. You're gonna see these two black keys right in the middle of the piano. And you're gonna imagine that you're gonna put your nose right in between them, like right there. Am I in the right place? I think so. Ready? Once you've figured out where you should sit, you wanna go ahead and adjust your bench or your chair or your stool or whatever you're using so that it's the right height because you want your wrists and arms to be about even with the keyboard. So not high, not too low. And you're gonna sit a little bit forward toward the edge and then keep your feet flat on the floor. And if you can't quite reach, you can use a box or a stool or even a little bench to help keep your feet up so you can be even. Just like that. You wanna hold your arms up and let your, your hands hang kind of loosely down, dangling, remember the ghost arms that we did? No tension. And then do the tiny little pivot at the wrists, like that, and then place them gently on the keys. You are now ready to play piano, tension free and with good sitting posture. When we play piano, we use all of our fingers. Now, all of our fingers have a different number. So starting with our thumb, that's number one, and then our index finger or our pointer finger, that's number two, and then our middle or tall finger, that's number three, and then our ring finger is number four, and our pinky finger is number five. Let's try it again. So starting with our thumb, one, Pointer finger, two, tall or middle finger, three, and then ring finger, four, and pinky finger, five. Let's play a game. I will indicate a finger, and then you tell me which one is it, okay? Here we go. Good, that's number one, that's our thumb. How about Good, that's number four, that's our ring finger. Okay, how about? Good, that's number three, excellent. How about? That's number five, excellent, excellent. Okay, last one. Good, that's number two. Wonderful, you're getting it, okay. Now let's try it with both hands. It's gonna be the same on the other hand as it was on this hand, okay? Now you wiggle them with me. Ready? Starting with our thumbs, that's finger number one. Okay, and then our index finger or pointer finger, that's finger number two. Okay, and that's our middle or tall finger, finger number three. Okay, and then our ring finger, finger number four. And our pinky finger, finger number five. Good. So a really fun way to learn your finger numbers is to practice drawing them. I'll show you. So you're gonna get a piece of paper and a pencil and you're just gonna draw your hand. You can just trace. I'll trace all my fingers. Okay. Now remember which one's your thumb, right? That's your thumb. What number finger is that? Good. Thumb is number one. How about this one, the pointer finger? Two, okay, and the middle finger 
is three, and then the ring finger is four, and then the last one, the pinky finger, is five. Remember? One, two, three, four, five. And then you can do it again on the other hand. I'm right-handed though, so let's see what happens. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so remember the thumb is always finger number one, right? Okay, what's the next one? Index finger is two. Tall or middle finger is three. Ring finger is four. And pinky finger is five. Okay, you guys try it a couple times and you'll be pros in no time. Okay, so now we're ready to learn our next two songs. Merrily We Roll Along and Mary Had a Little Lamb. So Merrily We Roll Along and Mary Had a Little Lamb have the same melody, but they have different lyrics. So first, let's sing the songs. Ready? Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along, merrily we roll along. Across the deep blue sea. Okay, and then Mary had a little lamb. Almost sounds the same. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb with fleece as white as snow. Can you hear the same melody for both songs? Can you tell when the pitch goes up or when the pitch goes down? or when the pitch stays the same? Let's try it again and sing it. I'll help you. Ready? Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along across the deep blue sea. Hmm. You wanna try it again with Mary Had a Little Lamb? Okay, let's do it. I'll help you. You move your hand with me when it goes up and down too, okay? Here we go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb with fleece as white as snow. Good job, you guys, excellent. Next, let's try clapping our hands to the beat as we sing the songs. Okay, now that you know the songs, I want you to sing and clap with me. Okay, here we go. We're, first, we're going to do Merrily We Roll Along. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along across the deep blue sea. Good job. Okay, let's try it with Mary Had a Little Lamb too. Ready? We're going to sing and clap the beat at the same time. Here we go. Ready? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb with fleece as white as snow. All right, good job, excellent. Okay, now we're gonna learn how to play these songs on the piano. So this time we're gonna start with our right hand and instead of just playing our right hand with our tall or third finger, we're also gonna use our second finger or the pointer finger, and our first finger, our thumb. Three, two, and one. And we're even gonna use our number five finger, the pinky. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our right hand on this pattern of three black keys like we've been playing on, except this time on this top black key, we're gonna use our number three finger or our tall finger. And then on the middle one, we're gonna use our number two finger, and then down here on the bottom one, we're gonna use our number one finger or our thumb, okay? And then up here on the bottom of the two black keys, you're gonna use your number five finger or your pinky. Just like that, okay? Excellent, let's try it. but 
we're gonna sing the lyrics to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Ready? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb with fleece as white as snow. Good job, everyone. Excellent. We're going to add our left hand and play the same harmony notes that we did for our first two songs for Hot Cross Buns and Hushabye. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along across the deep blue sea. Now we're going to play exactly the same song on the piano, but we're going to use the words for Mary had a little lamb. Can we do this? Okay, let's try it. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb with fleece as white as snow. Okay, so today we learned a little bit more about sitting posture at the piano. We learned all of our finger numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And we learned two whole songs. We learned Merrily We Roll Along and Mary Had a Little Lamb. So keep practicing all your songs. Remember to sing when you play and memorize everything. Press decent out.